All right, we're back again, and time to talk to Sarif. Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing, which should get you to Henshaw Island without any problems. You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the typhoon or with some other top secret military project that I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development, self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. Hooray. There we go. Yes, perfect landing. I will not be accompanying Mr. Snyder to the charity dinner tonight. I must head to Utah instead. To the rehabilitation center. Does Mr. Taggart know this, sir? Of course he does. I would not be leaving if it were not a medical emergency. Of course, I understand. I can't imagine what it must be like to willingly give up an implanted limb. Please, make sure Mr. Taggart is up to date, itinerary-wise. And I will rendezvous with you later this week. Understood, sir. You know, I kind of like this guy. You're Taggart's aide, aren't you? Dr. Isaiah Sandoval, isn't it? No need to play ignorant, Mr. Jensen. I am quite sure you have a file on me that's as thick as the one you have on Mr. Taggart. You're an outspoken activist in your own right, Dr. Sandoval. When you have seen the things that I have, you find you have no choice but to stand up and be counted. Frankly, I am surprised an ex-cop like yourself isn't more disturbed by the dangers of this technology. Augmentations help a lot of people, Doc. Handicapped, war vets. Yes, but at what cost? My own friend had his life ruined by these so-called enhancements of yours. A man much like you who had no choice but to become augmented. Yet, once he was, too much power can make you do terrible things, Mr. Jensen. I suggest you think long and hard on that. I'd like to hear more about your friend, Dr. Sandoval. What exactly did he do? Nothing. Was he injured in the Gulf? He went on a rampage in a shopping mall, if you must know, hoping to be gunned down by the police rather than face a lifetime battling augmentation addiction. He was addicted to augments? They don't talk about it in those corporate brochures of yours, do they? Neuropos independency, rejection psychosis, any number of physical and psychological ills have resulted from this technology, and yet we rarely hear a word about them. I'm sure the literature is out there. No thanks to the throng of corporate lawyers attempting to stop it. Your friend, did he succeed? Did he suicide by cop? No. Bill Taggart talked him down. Of course, that uh, person you're talking about is your brother, who's an asshole. I might kill him later, just so you know. Right then, we're gonna have fun to go into this place. Uh, we'll be heading there in a second. Hey, Jensen. The boss said you were on your way. You're gonna love Hangsha. You've been there? Used to live there. I spent three, maybe four years working in the upper city, and most of my nights having fun in the lower one. You ready to go? Yeah, sure. Nothing else here. I thought I was. How long is this gonna take, Malik? You mean the flight or the fun afterward? Don't worry. We'll be there before you know it. Climb in. Let's see what else get fucked up. Because so far, how long has that been stunning? <laughs>
Jensen, you might want to get ready. The jewel of the Yangtze approaches. Son of a bitch. We're supposed to find answers in that. Hey, twice the scum and half the space. Hang on, we're going in. The address you got off that Merc, Hengsha Court Gardens? It's a bit of a walk from here in the Yuzhou district, but I figured it might be best not to drop you too close. In case Barrett only gave up the address knowing I'd walk into another trap. It's the kind of thing I'd do to an enemy. You want my advice? Just find out who lives there and get out. Booby. <laughs> I'm so funny. Where do you go? I did already use my practice point. Yes, I did. Yes, but don't recharging batteries faster. Don't stay here, Lawai. This city is very dangerous, especially lower. Too many groups fighting for control. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hey, do you know how to get to the the Hong Hong Hua Hong Hong Hua Hong Hua the hotel? Ah, I see. Someone's looking for some action, huh? <laughs> See, all the experience by just walking in. It's illegal. You know, it's an amazing... If they don't call police, it's illegal. You get so much experience for just by going into the back doors here. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna try to hack that. Hey, I'm not that much of an asshole. So now, where else I going? Oh, shit. Walking the wrong way. Where else I going? Walking the wrong way. I need to get more candy bars, I have nothing. Very impressive machinery, my friend. As you can see, not all of us are as lucky as you. What the hell's up with your arm? So stupid looking. Do you shoot paintball guns? What paintball, brother? There it is. They're all getting just got loads of friends for the free. I think bringing in Bell Tower to police this city is a great thing. I'm sure some of those corrupt officials in the Chinese bureaucracy are having sleepless nights these days. You think Bell Tower isn't corrupt? I've seen them look the other way. Uh -oh. See, I didn't do it. He was already gone. Bell Tower's got the whole apartment complex locked down. I need to get down. something in my apartment. Nobody knows why. I don't think... Sorry, pal. No one's allowed in right now. I need to get something in my apartment. Oh, I don't good. care what kind of operation is going on. Oops. I kind of shot myself in the foot. I ran too far. Hi. Fuck you. I need, to, I need to get in there. Wait, I have a candy bar. That shouldn't be too hard.
Bell Tower is conducting an investigation in this building, sir. No admittance. Okay. Malik, you might have been right about that trap. Hengsha Court Garden is under lockdown by Bell Tower Associates. Bell Tower? They're the police in Lower Hengsha, Jensen. They're under contract with the Chinese government. You think the Chinese... I won't know anything until I get inside that penthouse. Well, that's really too hard. I'll just go through here. Which is probably shoot me on sight. And how hard can we do another fight? Edge looking guy when you're black out with some hogs. Access granted. That was a strong fortification there, I should be amazed. What else is that you do here? Oh, just more. Oh, here we go. What's up here? I mean, I probably shouldn't be climbing up any further, but I want to know what's up there. <laughs> After all, I am curious. Where I wanted to go. Easy. <laughs> that was great. Get word to Pritchard, Malik. The hacker who's been attacking us goes by the handle Windmill. Real name's Ari Van Bruggen. Bell Tower's been brought in to arrest him. Arrest? Or get rid of? Either way, he found out someone was gunning for him and took off. We need to find him. There's a nightclub near where I dropped you called The Hive. It's notorious in black market circles. If this Dutchman is running, his first stop will be there. I'll have a chat with the owner. Cool. Oh, practice points. Let's see what to spend it on. Jensen, figured you might want a heads up before you stroll into the hive. The owner's name is Tong Si Hung, Tong being his last name. 
Rumor is, he's tied to the triads. China's organized crime lords. How wonderful. Anyone else want a piece of this pie? Limp Clinic. Yeah, I want to go to Limp Clinic. Where is that? My buddy Les never pays to get into the hive. Because you know what, Marilyn? Somebody told us that the hive is the place to go with here. Yeah, yeah. I want to find Limp Clinic because I can get more, more practice kits. Good evening, sir. Is there anything I can help you with? I feel like I'm gonna walk the right one direction. Ah, no. It's fine. Excuse me. Do you know where the limb clinic is? Yes, it's on Tea Tang Road, near the market. Great, thanks. Yeah, but here. The species stepped up to make things better. Excuse me, sir. Our Do best you know chance of doing this is to modify ocean temperatures. Sure, gorgeous. You have to take a train. And geothermal but you know you can't get into the building there. without an access card. Oh, really? That your Arctic ocean I just graduated from university and I wanted to drop off a resume. When I think you're better off sending an email. It's a high security compound, sweetheart. If you would like to hear more of it. All right, give me all of your practices. All of them. Welcomes you. You are preferred client? Select what you want from computer. Give it to me. Practice kits. Thank you. Oh. Why not? Why not? <laughs> You're very welcome, sir. Any more free candies in here? No? Mama Candy. No? Shame. I just spent so much money here. There's a hyper sim stack though. That'll do. That's nice. I just didn't try with him and try to hack these, so I'll just leave him alone. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll be a master hacker. Probably the punch monster, I'll just punch everyone down, because then no one can stop me. The 
Hive is a members only club, Lao Wai. Without a membership card, I can't let you in. You telling me I gotta pay to get into this dive? We've got a reputation to keep. Can't let just anyone get in here. Just anyone with the money. No pay, no play. You want in or not? Maybe another time. All right, your business. You come back and see me if you change your mind. I got a better idea. An idea that gives me experience points. <laughs> Access granted. Ta -da. Don't need that. I think we're almost down there, but I'm not gonna go check it out. I'm drawn here to gain knowledge. Wee. Okay, I don't know what sound would you like there. I may have walked too far. There is much to do down here in the lower city. I went way too far. Of course, there it is. I actually need to go ahead, did I? No, I did not. That's where I wanted to go. Probably sturdy boxes. Ta da! I'll try to use silver tongue with the uh, tong. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah. No. He's got to be kidding me. The owner of the most wild. popular club and in Asia stay away from the basement. Is a smelly old basement. Commission. This is the tongue is conscious. I have a tradition I have to keep. You got a favorite poison? Yes. Uh, I'll take the phoenix. A golden phoenix sling. Oh, a man of taste, are we? Excellent choice. There you go. I'll drink this at the end of the game. What can I get you? I'm looking for Tom. Everyone wants to talk to Tom. Check the VIP lounge upstairs. Friendly man. Shit, it's gone. You looking for Mr. Tom? His office is in the basement. No one goes down there without an appointment. You work here? Uh, yeah. You could say that. Good. I need to see your boss. Really? Well, I'm sorry, Guaido. Mr. Tong Zi Hong sees no one today. Look, I didn't come halfway around the world to take no for an answer. Do us both a favor and tell me where he is. Or what? You get mad and tear down a few walls with those enhancements of yours? This place isn't named the Hive for nothing. It's got plenty of worker bees come out of the paneling to stop you. What is it you think Mr. Tong do for you anyway? I'm looking for someone. A cybersecurity specialist named Ari Van Bruggen. You know him? Never heard of him. What'd he do? Steal your girl? Owe you money? He had a job go bad, and now he's on the run from the people who hired him. But you knew that already, because a man like Mr. Tong doesn't hire idiots. And this is the first place people like Van Bruggen come when they need... help. So stop wasting my time, and take me to Tong. You've got it backward, boy. You're wasting my time. Van Bruggen is minor league player. Tong knows who he is. He just don't care. He's got bigger things to worry about.
You expect me to fall for that? Small timers don't attract this much attention. They don't have bell tower soldiers staking out their apartments. Van Bruggen's pissed off somebody big. And there's no way Tong's going to ignore that kind of development in his town. You're smarter than you look. Yeah. Tong is keeping a close eye on things. Like you said, he's no fool. Van Bruggen is more than just a hacker, you know. He trained in counterintelligence. He's got forged identities, secure bank accounts, and safe houses all over the world. He's already off this island, and I guarantee you'll never find him. I'm saying it's hard to know where he is, but I can't go there without it. Are you done? No. Give me a break. I've been on this island long enough to know that Van Bruggen can't leave without Tong's help. He has to be hiding in Lower Hangsha somewhere, and Tong can tell me where. Not gonna fall for any cheap suckers play like that, are you? Okay, you're right. Van Bruggen is still in Hangsha. In fact, he came here for help and we put him someplace safe. What if I make you a deal? We only need Van Bruggen for a couple of jobs. After that, we got no use for him. So, you come back in a month, and I personally show you where he is. You say anything to get rid of me, won't you? There's no way Tom can hold on to Van Bruggen for long. Not with the kind of resources his enemies are throwing into the search. He'll be dead within a week, and Tong with him. Unless somebody, namely me, takes the heat off, and soon. I wonder if you would say that if you knew the kind of heat the Dragon Queen gives off. But I won't refuse a gift horse when it's staring me in my mouth. Tong's office is downstairs. I'll radio the others to let you through. I had no idea you could win by just sending something over and over again with him. Then again, every time I've been here before, I had a Casey mod. Which I think is like the most amazing thing ever. Yes. That's not the right way. Oh. How the hell do you get it for me? Makes no sense. EXP. You see this? And to screw it up in the fourth, I'm just flushing my money down the pot. Your tongue. Hey, you only work that out now. Guess you're not as sharp as you think. How about you tell me who you work for? Then I decide what I tell you about Van Bruggen. Does the name Seraph Industries ring any bells? Seraph Industries? Isn't that that American company stole all the headlines a while back? You still in business? Why wouldn't we be? Check the news. Biotech corporations seem to be failing a lot these days, especially the ones who are making enhancements. Van Bruggen's in the Alice Garden pots. Capsule 301. Place is a rat hole, but it's useful sometimes. Make sure you leave him in the same shape you find him. And if I don't? Your call. But those implants of yours might look even more special on somebody else. Ta-da! I need to get a gun so that I can give Van Bruggen. A gun that isn't mine. Malik, you were right. 
Tong is helping Van Bruggen. He stashed him in the Alice Garden pods. Thought as much. A hacker who knows his way around corporate firewalls would make a valuable asset for the triads. I'm at the pods myself, Jensen. Want me to run interference? No. Don't put yourself at risk. I'm heading there now. Okay, but where can I get my hand on another gun to give him? Because I don't want to give him my pistol. And I can't give him my stun gun. And I can't give him a sniper rifle. I need to get him a machine pistol. Or a shotgun. Where can I get another gun? That's right. No. Hey. Leaving already, tough guy. Because you might want to go over to the bar and order yourself a drink before you do. Maybe Bobby will have something for you. Bobby? The bartender. The real bartender, that is. <laughs> Thanks. I just might check that out. You do that. Well, it is a praxis kit. So I see this guy laying on the ground to help, help me out. You got a favorite poison? Looks like Tong's running a nice operation here. You for hire? Because a suspicious man might not appreciate you asking. A suspicious man might also wonder what kind of job gets handed off to strangers. But all right, I'll bite. What are you offering? I got a problem I need solving. Trouble is, none of my usual guys are available. And this problem? It involves a woman. Tell me more. I'm listening. That's what I like to hear. This woman, Jaya, she's a broker. Highly competitive field in Hengsha. But without the right skills, her business wasn't doing so well. So, we helped her out. Gave her a nice social enhancement upgrade chip so she could understand her clients' needs. Now, it's time to pay us what's due, but she says she won't. So basically, you want me to be your collector? Yes, but it's not as simple as that. The girl's gone into hiding and thinks we won't find her. But she also took her phone and computer along to keep her business alive. Not very smart, assuming you've got the equipment to track those. We don't exactly, but we know someone who does, and that's where you come in. Bao Tower set up a surveillance network around town. A series of relay antennas. I need you to hack them. Three relays should be enough for us to access the database and triangulate Jaya's position. Then I go get your money. Exactly. The first relay is on the rooftop of a four-story building in the Yu Zhao district. I assume you've got an info link and wayfinder package in those fancy orgs of yours? I'll upload the coordinates and then contact you once you've hacked in. Ta-da! Easy, easy. That was crazy. Yeah. I'm gonna do that first, uh, because I really like upgrades. Easy activate you, and you are now on Fantastic. We'll look at that in the next uh, video.